Hello everyone. So this is the 11th video of uh, configuring Emacs from scratch. So before beginning configuration, so I have something to share. So in the GitHub page, so if you go to the configuring Emacs from scratch uh, project repo, so I have added the readme.org here. So in the readme.org, so I have actually included uh, in uh, basically in text lines whatever we are doing in the video itself. So like here, like the in the first video, so the headings will be same as the YouTube itself. So you can actually have a look into the video itself in the text mode before actually seeing in the YouTube itself. So yeah, if you are like, there is also the uh, links for the files itself and all the other sites where I actually post. And uh, I have covered uh, most of the videos here, like. Uh, from one to the last video on the video 10 what we had is covered so today's video I'll uh, add it here also after finishing uh, today's recording so, okay so this is to give you the brief his uh, back uh, the detail of what we have in the uh, video actually itself so if you want to read it after uh, without watching it you can actually do and you can do the search and all this other stuff also and the good part is that it's written in the org mode so it actually github actually supports the org mode and uh, it does a nice formatting with it so let's get started so now you see there is this readme org and setting for both are there so if i go to the readme org you can see that it is actually formatted here uh, just like that now i would say that there are some drawbacks to it like whatever the, the way the github is actually setting it up for example this captions and all it actually doesn't come so here i was expecting a caption to it that's actually not available and secondly if you see the settings org file so if i click here what it will do is it will just jump to the settings file but if i do the same from the org mode what it also does is actually goes to the line number so that's currently actually not supported in the org mode itself in the github but anyway you can actually do if you download the org file itself you can do this jumpings and all this stuff okay so for today's video what I am going to do is uh, I'm gonna install one more package and this is for writing the Python codes and there is highlight indentation guide So this is the package itself, so highlight indentation guide. And let me open the GitHub page for this. So if you set it up correctly, it will it will look something like this. And it is possible to make it either fill, where all the indentations are gonna be with some uh, transparent filling of the white spaces. Or you can do it like a column, or you can do it like a character. So all of these are uh, configurable. So first of all, let's say I install it. Okay, so this is a small package. It's installed already. require 
is require highlight and limitation guide which is our package here okay i think it's spelled guides anyway and here um, we have to uh, make it to the prog mode and method also we can choose from here okay all right now in the prop mode and i think python should be fine and here we need to choose the method so here uh, out of all these things by default will be fill i am choosing column Offer. Okay, there is a seems to have some problem okay it's not indentation it's indent guide and it's actually guides okay now everything is loaded let me go to one of the uh, python code that i have now here as we can see that previously we have also opened this uh, file itself but uh, right now we can see that whenever we have an indentation it actually uh, highlights it by some transparent uh, background color and notice you can see that if if it is in the some odd the colors are different if it is the even indentation the colors are different so this is quite useful to know whenever you are doing a python codes which is actually very much indentation dependent and uh, you can have something like this and so to make your life very easy okay so thank you everyone for watching uh, like and like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts on the comment sections below. Goodbye.